Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you NARS's Holiday 2017 collection, which is the Man Ray collection. This is available through NARS online and also through Sephora, I believe, and Ulta. I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can purchase it if you like any of the products that we go over in this video. As always, please check the description box if you would like to see photographs of these products, including the swatches and of the lip products applied to the lips. Those links will be in the description box and also the link to the blog sale if you're interested in any of the new items or price reductions. All right, I hope you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you enter any of the giveaways that come up in these videos, and let's get looking at NARS's Man Ray collection for holiday 2017. All right, so first up, let's look at the Veil Cheek Palette, and this retails for $49. So this is what the outer packaging looks like, and it opens up and it does have a full-sized mirror inside. These are the three shades that you get, a matte bronzer, shimmering blush, and shimmering highlight, and I will swatch these with a powder brush. So here's the bronzing shade, which is NARS's very classic Laguna. This is a diffusing brown powder with golden shimmer, it says. Let's see if that shimmer shows up. So you can see the first layer, but I'm going to build up two layers for the camera mostly. I don't see a lot of shimmer in this shade. It looks mostly matte to me on the skin. A little more so you can really see the color. Next is a limited edition shade. It's called Lovesick. This is a watermelon satin shade. I don't like this formula. It's that kind of powder where you really have to mash your brush into the pan to get the color to transfer. Third layer. It will work better with a more dense brush. But this kind of formula has really never been my favorite. And last we have Surreal, which is also limited edition. This is a shimmering bronze rose. And this one shows up much more easily, so we'll just do two layers. All right, so up close, there are your three shades from the Veil palette. All right, and so that you can hopefully see the colors a little more intensely, I'm going to do finger swatches of all the shades. And there's that up close. You can see how pigmented the blush and highlighter could be, so just play around with the brushes. Next up, let's look at the two limited edition blush shades. These retail for $30 each. So this first shade here is called Intensely, and the second shade here is called Fetishized. So first up is Intensely, which is a bright tangerine. It looks like it'd be really hard to wear in the pan, but once you apply it, it's light enough where it comes off actually very wearable. And I hope you can tell from swatching how much more easily this powder applies compared to the formula that's in the Veil cheek palette that we just went over. And then we have Fetishized, which is a pink grapefruit color. Applying a second layer. And this one is requiring more blending than I would like. It does have a stronger sheen to the finish. Okay, so there are the two shades side by side. Please make sure you read the review to see what the actual quality of the blushes are like. The application oftentimes changes um, once you apply them to the face. A lot of times it's a lot better once you apply it to the skin um, over foundation and things like that. All right, and for finger swatches, here is Intensely and here is Fetishized. All right, and those are the shades up close. And next we have probably the most iconic part of this collection, which is the Overexposed Glow Highlighter in the shade Double Take, and this retails for $42. And here is what the pan looks like. 
up close. So Double Take is a gold highlight. Now it does have a similar formula to the Trio, that cheek palette that we first swatched. So I did have to press my brush into the product or the pan more roughly than I usually would. Here is layer two. And layer three. This isn't a super chunky highlighter, but it's also not uh, super refined in texture. And next to the brush swatch, here is a heavy finger swatch. All right, so there is what double take looks like up close. Next up, we're gonna look at the Glass Tears eyeshadow palette, which retails for $49. The palette opens up like this. Again, a full-sized mirror inside. And these are the six eyeshadow shades, which I will swatch left to right, top row, then bottom row over eyeshadow primer as always. The first shade is Cry Baby, which is a matte cream. Heartbreaker is a shimmering deep ocean green. Lover Boy is a matte black. Trist is a shimmering kind of old school gold. One and Only is a shimmering deep moss and vengeance it's a shimmering rich plummy brown okay so here are the six all limited edition shades from the glass tears eyeshadow palette next up we have two eyeshadow duos these retail for 36 dollars each i have no idea how to pronounce this name i think it's montparnasse and this duo is called Debauched. So starting with the Montparnasse duo, we have a shimmering yellow-based gold and an iridescent orchid. And from the Debauched duo, we have a black violet, a little bit of shimmer, smoky charcoal with Nar says red shimmer, but it looks purple. All right, and there are the shades from the two eyeshadow duos. Then we have four new photo gloss lip lacquers. These retail for $26 each. Here's the shade Zambiz or Zambizi. Muse. Off limits and Kiki. All right, Zambeze or Zambezi is a red hazelnut shade. Muse is a golden shimmer, very yellow based. Off limits is a shimmering fuchsia and Kiki is a burgundy. All right, so there are your four new lip lacquer shades up close. All right, and lastly, we have the Noir et Blanche Audacious Lipstick Set. And this is the sort of most giftable thing in the collection. And it retails for $55. It is a like snow globey type, really heavy paperweight ish thing here. Um, this top part, as you can see, comes off and that's the image that you saw through the snow globe-ish type lid there. And then you have four mini sized audacious lipsticks and this retails for $55. So with these shades, you get three limited edition colors and then one shade that's already in the full size Audacious Lipsticks line. So the first three are the limited edition shade and the last color Charlotte is not limited edition. This shade is Lee. Next up is Dolores. Josephine 
and Charlotte. So we're starting off with Lee, which is a garnet red. Dolores, which is a crimson red. Josephine, which is a Bordeaux. And Charlotte, which is an oxblood burgundy. All right, and there are your four beautiful audacious lipstick shades from the lip set. All right, so there's NARS's Man Ray collection for holiday 2017. The best quality item, I think, from the entire collection, at least by my first impression, is probably the lipstick set and the Glass Tears eyeshadow palette. The shades had a really wonderful formula in that eyeshadow palette, and of course the Audacious Lipstick formula is one of the best lipstick formulas out there. I wasn't super inspired by either of the eyeshadow duos. I think a lot of those shades have also been kind of recycled, particularly by NARS. Um, and I also wasn't super impressed by the Veil Cheek Palette either, but again, I'm going to kind of hold out my final thoughts on uh, any of the powder um, cheek products for when I test them out actually applied to the cheeks, because like I said, the formula for powders that go on the face oftentimes change at least a little bit between swatching versus actual application. And then the lip glosses or the lip lacquers actually were pretty impressive too. They're very pigmented and they have kind of a thicker, gloopier formula, but the particular, um, in particular the shimmering shades, I thought were very impressive because they were very densely pigmented. They weren't just shimmer. So please let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this collection, if you've tried any of it out. If you are interested in purchasing any of these items, I hope this was helpful to you. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.